Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting vlog. Today's video is very exciting because we are going to be collecting a new addition to the family very soon, tomorrow actually. And today we're just getting the prep work done, getting the stable ready, but I'm so excited for our new arrival to come. If you follow me on Instagram, you will already have met him. But if not, then come along with me on the journey to go and collect him. So we're down in the stables. <laughs> My stacks of rolling hills bedding are behind us, but we're actually gonna use straw for our new little addition. Um, I've literally got rolling hills bedding everywhere here and over here. So we're gonna be putting straw in for the babies um, for the winter to keep them nice and warm. But this is the bedding that I use for George because he's so messy and it's brilliant. It's really absorbent and just very good value for money for me because he flies through normal shavings. So yeah, we're gonna get the stables all set up and ready. And then I probably will just chat to you tomorrow when we're on the way. So his bed is done. Honestly, he's so small that I think he'll just disappear. He'll be enveloped by straw and he'll vanish. He definitely is gonna be spoiled rotten. Like, look at this bed. <laughs> Do you know that Keelan's making me move all of my bedding by myself while he just stands and drinks a can of Pepsi and observes? I did all the rest of them. <laughs> That's a blatant lie. Not, Keelan's dad it. moved my bales for me and Keelan's trying to claim that he did it. To give you a little bit of backstory while I'm here on our new little fella that's coming tomorrow, Keelan always buys thoroughbred foals and keeps them until they're three and then sells them. And I think that they are very expensive. We're saving to build a house. So I kind of, we'll say gently, but actually not so gently, insisted that we get a Connemara. And I said, you can have one thoroughbred and I'll have one Connemara. They're much cheaper to buy and then we'll both be happy. I'll have my Connemara to look after you, your foal to look after your thoroughbred foal, and we'll both be happy. We were planning on going to Clifton at the end of October, which is actually this weekend, um, but I saw an ad that the lovely Laura Brady put up on Instagram for a little foal and I just fell in love with him. I thought he was gorgeous. So I showed him to Keelan, not thinking that he'd be very swayed either way, but he really liked him as well. So we went up to see him a few days later and loved him, paid a deposit, and they've kept him for us until now when we were ready to bring him home because Keelan's a full arriving in two weeks. I will insert the reel here that I made of him when I like. So the first stop of the day was to pop over and collect some nannies to be Cooper's companions for the next few weeks. So this is BB and Pudding arriving. This is BB and Pudding. So BB, the one at the front, I actually rode years ago when I was a teenager because she was too bold for the riding school. And then I think she was in the riding school for a while after that, weren't you? But yeah, they're both from the riding school at the yard where I keep George and they've been there for many years. We took the two of them to be companions for Cooper for a few weeks until our thoroughbred foal comes. Didn't we, Keelan? Yeah, Keelan was really happy, one. really happy about taking two instead of one. But now they're fine when I see They're them. fine. <laughs> they're very well behaved and teeny weeny. So now it's time to go collect Cooper. man he is traveling really well he's been in the box for maybe hello <laughs> half an hour and i stopped to get some food and also to check on him hi <laughs> he yeah he's total sweetheart he's such a pet he just wants cuddles and attention and he's standing like a rock in the box so yeah really happy with him i will fill you all in on everything about him when i get him home but for now we're just going to eat some dinner and 
get back on the road because we have about a three hour drive ahead of us. Wow, boy, <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. He's trying to do the podcast down the lens. Come can't on, keep it. it going, keep it going. Man. Welcome to podcast 296. Come to you like the joy of warming your arse in front of an open fire. Cooper after like an eight hour round trip. So now we're all gonna go to bed. He's settled in, he's eating his hay, he's very relaxed. Two ladies are happy out there as well, so it is bedtime for everyone. This is our newest addition to the family. This is Cooper. Venora Cooper is his show name. He is around six months old and he is a coat full, full Connemara by a stallion called Rugra Naluka. He's a lovely stallion. I will pop a picture of him up on the screen now. Most of the questions that I got about him on Instagram were just about like what our plans are for him, what do we think he's going to do in the future, but it's so hard to tell because obviously he's a baby, he's only six months old, but we will definitely be keeping him until he is a three-year-old. The reason we bought him was because Keelan is getting a thoroughbred foal, I think I went through this already, and I decided rather than him getting two thoroughbred foals because he needed one to keep the other company, I would get a Connemara foal as well. The general plan with him is obviously just to let him be a horse for the next few years. I will do hopefully do a little bit of in-hand showing with him or do the yearling classes next year and see how that goes. I've never done in-hand showing really apart from the old stallion class with Plume but that's the plan. Do a little bit of in-hand showing with him, kind of keep that up. He has done quite a bit of in-hand showing over the summer. He's done a good few fall classes. He was third in Clifton. I like to keep that up. I think it's good for his education to get him out and about. He's a total pet. You can literally do anything with him and yeah, really excited for his future. Like I said, we'll definitely keep him until he's a three year old, then the third bed will be going to the sales and I will see how attached I am and how nice he's after getting um, and hopefully maybe I will convince Keelan that we should keep him for a little longer. I can do maybe some Green Hunter classes with him as a four year old or something like that, but who knows, that's a very long way off. So for now, he's just going to be a little baby and enjoy his life here getting plenty of cuddles and being spoiled, aren't you? Yeah. That's finished. Get so I'm going to end the vlog here with little Cooper. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you're looking forward to seeing how Cooper progresses over the next few years. We're all very excited about him and we think he's going to be an absolute smasher. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.